Hey guys, Logan here from the Web3 Foundation Technical Education Team. So this video will go over the steps you need to take uh, to upgrade your node when a new version of Polkadot is released. Um, so I have in another tab here the my Kusama node uh, currently syncing to the chain. Um, we'll check right now what version uh, that I'm running by uh, using the version flag on the Polkadot binary. Uh, so we can see here that we're running version 0 0.7.27 uh, at this commit. And I've compiled it for the Linux platform. So let's say a new version is released and uh, the way to find, to find out when a new version comes out is either by looking at the releases uh, tab on the Parity Polkadot GitHub repository or by following the Kusama announcements channel in uh, Riot. So anytime a new release is made, uh, one of the devs will post a link to the release notes and the new version. So as we can see here, there's been a new release, uh, version 0 0.7.28, which is uh, a higher version than the one that I'm currently running, which is 0.27. So this means that we need to upgrade to the latest version. Um, now assume that you have already the Polkadot source code, that you've compiled it somewhere, and you're able to uh, use the command line for commands such like uh, git checkout. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that the local git tree we have is up to date, and we can do this by uh, using the git fetch command. If you get no output, that means that your git tree is currently up to date. So this means we need to find out uh, how to get to the new version. Uh, we can check the version that we're currently on by using git log. At the top here we see that we are on the tag for version 0 0.7.27, which is not the one we want. We want 0 0.7.28. So to check for the tags, we can type in git tag list uh, with with two hyphens and we can scroll through until we find the tag that we want so we can see here there's indeed the v 0.7.28 tag so we'll go ahead and use the checkout command to switch to that version of the code and we'll get some output that says uh, what the previous uh, head of the tree was, which was 0.27, and now which commit we're on, which is uh, 7f59f2cc. To verify that that's the right tag, we can type in git log again. And we can see up here we're now, the head of the git tree is now at, at tag version 0 0.7.28, which is what we want. So now all we have to do is build the source code using cargo uh, and so we use cargo build dash dash release and if you've uh, previously built the polka dot code you should have some of the packages cached so you don't have to start from zero every time you upgrade your code um, but it still takes a few minutes so I'll go ahead and pause the video and wait until this finishes and come back okay we're back we can see that it took about 20 minutes to build the new version of Polkadot. <clears throat> we can go ahead and verify that we have the new version by running the uh, same version flag that we used before. And we see that we're now on the latest version, which is 0 0.7.28. Uh, so what we want to do now uh, is to make sure that our node is running that version. So because I have a node running uh, using uh, systemd, I can just use a systemd command to restart this node and it'll automatically pull the latest version. Uh, so the way you're running your node might differ. Uh, you might just simply uh, quit out of the process and restart it. Uh, but this is how I'm restarting my node. So I'm restarting uh, like this. And if I jump over to this other tab, I should see 
that system D is stopping this uh, service because I'm a validator and it updates uh, now running the latest version we can double check up here uh, that now I am running version 0.7.28 uh, so that's how you update a Kusama node. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.